Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. This video will give you a brief demonstration of working of Logic Business Ultimate software in an apparel wholesale business. First of all, let us look at the process of creating a new account of customer and supplier. Enter the name and define account type as customer or supplier. Click on other details to enter the contact details and address. Also define GST details and sale nature. Bank details can also be added in other details. Similarly, create an account of supplier with all the details. The Setup Account Groups option allows you to arrange customers and suppliers into different categories. The most commonly used criteria are area and weekdays. Customers can be arranged according to their areas. Right-click on the group name to allocate or deallocate the accounts. Expand the group to see the allocated accounts. The areas can further be allocated under different days of the week. So, each group contains five levels. You can also create salesmen, agents, or brokers. Simply type a name and short name. Enter other details if you wish to. Setup Company option allows you to create companies of items. Scroll down to the end of the screen and enter the desired company name and a short name. You 
can also set up various go-downs. Let us now look at the grouping of items. Set up item groups option allows you to arrange the items into different groups. Different categories of apparel items can be created and items can be allocated into them. Similarly, you can use other criteria such as gender, season etc. GST group is created to classify items into various GST slabs. Most of the apparel items are allocated under GST apparel slab. You can create up to 30 group categories like these. Let us look at how the items are set up. Type the name of item and choose the category to which it belongs. Also allocate the item into other groups and fill in other required details. You can choose multiple companies for single item. Also tick as many pack sizes as required. Similarly, select multiple shades for the item. Click on preview to see the item, shade and size wise.
then save it. Now let us enter a purchase voucher. First we will look at the manual way of entering purchase bill. Enter the supplier name and other details such as bill number and bill date. Now enter the item either by using barcode or by item name. Choose lot from the search list or create a new one and enter other required details such as quantity, rates and discounts. Next pack sizes of the same item are being entered automatically with same details. You just have to press enter key. You can also change the details if needed. This makes the process faster. All sizes of the item have been entered quickly. This option can also be disabled in the purchase voucher configuration. Simply untick the option. Let us enter another item the rate of which is more than 1000 rupees. As you can see, 12% GST is being applied in this case. And 5% was applied in case the rate was less than 1000 rupees. This slab can be changed if needed. Purchase rate is automatically calculated by the software by using purchase rate formula. You can customize the purchase rate formula as per your needs. Click on view totals to see the gross amount, discount in rupees, amount of tax and net amount. Press F2 to see the account entry of the bill. A prompt of go down selection appears at the end. Select the appropriate go down in which you want to save the stock of the entered items. Purchase voucher can also be entered through Excel sheet. Browse the Excel sheet from your system and click on Refresh. All the items in the Excel sheet will appear. Invalid items if any, will appear here. Since there are no invalid items, we will move forward to save this voucher. Enter the supplier name and go down name.
and click on Save Bill. Purchase voucher has been saved. Let us check this in the Purchase Voucher window. Click on Modify and search the Purchase Bill. The Purchase Voucher has been entered. The process of entering a purchase return is quite similar to that of purchase voucher. Simply enter the supplier name and other details. Now enter the item either by using barcode or by item name. The rates will be automatically picked. Carry forward pack size option is available in purchase return as well. You can enable or disable it in the configuration. The stock transfer go down wise option enables you to transfer the stock from one go down to another. Select go down from and go down to. There are multiple ways to enter items. You can click on transfer all stock to move all the items just by one click. Another way is to retrieve the items from an Excel file. Browse the file from your system and save it just like we did in Purchase Voucher. Apart from these, you can enter the items manually in Item Details. Carry forward pack sizes option is also available here. Just tick the option in the configuration and save it. Now let us look at the process of setting up price lists. Multiple price list is used when a flat rate is applied to all the parties. Define the name of expenses and save them. Now, in the Define Formula tab, you can generate multiple configurations. Enter the name of configuration and define the formula. This means that sale rate will be calculated as MRP minus 20%. Now let us look at the usage of multiple price list in sale bill. Enter the customer name and choose the price list that you want to apply to this customer. 
We have chosen less 20%. Now enter the item details. As you can see, sale rate has been calculated as 1,040 rupees, which is 20% less than the MRP of 1,300 rupees. Click on view totals to see the gross amount, tax in rupees, discount and net amount. Item wise price list is used when different rates are to be used for different items and customers. Firstly, we have to define price list and expense details. Define the name of price list and save it. Similarly, define the expense details. For example, CD has already been defined and the column numbers are attributed as 1, 2, 3, and 4. We will define one more expense of TD and attribute 5, 6, 7, and 8 numbers to the columns. In the next tab, the price list is configured. Carefully define all the details like base rate, default value etc. Default value can be defined in the next step as well. In the next step, items and parties are linked with the price list elements. Click on the expense name and select the item group that you want to link. Similarly, customers can also be linked either by using account groups or accounts. These settings can be viewed in the display tab by clicking on refresh. Let 
us see its usage in sale bill. Enter the customer name that we have linked in the previous step. You can also select the agents or salesman that we created in Setup Agents Brokers window. Choose the item wise price list. Now enter the item from the group that we have linked in the last step. As you can see, sale rate has been calculated as 454.35 rupees, which is 35% less than the MRP of 699 rupees. To view the margin details, click on sale rate and press F4. Details of the expenses and their values can be seen here. By clicking on print, the bill will get saved and printed. You can get the printing customized as per your needs. Let us have a look at order processing. To generate a sale order, enter the customer name. Agent and price list option is also available here. There are multiple ways of entering items in sale order. Click on Retrieve. You can browse Excel sheet from your system. Another way is to retrieve items according to different groups or companies. Apply the desired filter and enter quantity for each item. You can also enter the quantity individually. The third method of entering items is to enter them manually. After generating sale order, a packing slip delivery order is prepared. Enter the customer name and go down name. Now, select the sale order through which the delivery order is to be prepared. You can also enter remarks if you want to. Items have been automatically entered from the selected sale order. Provide a number to the packing box and click on Auto Allocate Stock to assign stock to the packing box. Save the document. We will now prepare a sale bill from the delivery order. Enter the customer name and other details. Click on Retrieve Order. All the delivery orders of that customer will appear. Select the one that you want to retrieve. Select the items from the list. Delivery order has been retrieved in sale bill.
The sale and delivery order packing slip report is used to display the details of the sale bill that has been prepared from the sale order and delivery order. It also shows the packing box number and other details of the sale order. You can easily enter sales return in Logic ERP. Enter the required details. As soon as you enter the lot number, sale history of that item appears along with all details such as quantity, rate and discount. Select the sale bill against which the return is to be made and enter the return quantity. How simple is that? Now let us suppose that a customer has made a payment to you through check. It will be entered in bank receipts. Select the bank account from the list. You can also predefine the narrations in all account vouchers. Enter the required details. While entering payments or receipts, pending bills are displayed. Click on the bills against which the payment is to be adjusted. Similarly, if you have to make a payment to your supplier through check, it will be entered in bank payments. Select the bank through which payment is to be made and fill other required details. Logic ERP has an amazing option for the purpose of auditing the stock. The physical versus actual stock option allows you to do so. Select the go down, the stock of which is to be audited. You can also apply company-wise and group-wise filters. After applying all filters, click on Refresh Stock. This is the actual stock in the software. Now scan the barcode of the physical stock here. The quantity in physical stock column keeps increasing as you keep scanning.
The difference in both the quantities will appear in the difference column. After scanning all the stock, save the document. You can check the document in the stock reports. Select the document that you want to view and click on Create. Before correcting the difference between actual and physical stock, we will check the quantity of closing stock of Arrow and Jockey in Warehouse go down. There are 112 units of closing stock according to the software. In order to correct the difference between actual and physical stock, we will issue or receive the stock against the audit document. The excess stock in the software has been issued and any shortages have been received just by one click. Let us now again check the closing stock in the software. Simply press F2 to create the report again. After issue and receipt, the quantity of closing stock has changed to 50 units. After entering all the records, let us see how you can create reports in Logic ERP. First of all, we will create Ledger, which is one of the most important reports in a business. Filters have been given in every report on the right-hand side. Select the account of which you want to create the ledger. Entry-wise ledger has been created. The dues aging analysis is used to check the current dues and outstanding amount. You can also see which bills are overdue and by how many days.
cash bank book displays the receipts and payments made through cash and bank. The collection report displays the payment collected from the customers through cash and check, and the amount adjusted against the bill amount. Let us have a look at some sale reports as well. The sale register summary report displays the sale bills in a condensed form. Similarly, the sale and sale return register detail displays the sale bills in an elaborated manner with item name, lot number, quantity, rates and discounts. Click on the Excel button to copy the report in Microsoft Excel. This button can be found in every report. The Sale Register Cross tab has many reports. Category Wise Sale Report shows the sale of different categories of apparel items. This report shows the sale of each party over different months of the year. Currently, sale quantity is being displayed. You can change the configuration to gross or net value as well. Account Group Y Sale can also be checked here. You can select the market area of which you want to check the sale, otherwise the sale of all markets will be displayed. There are various salesman reports as well. Salesman Wise Consolidated Report displays the amount of sale done by each salesman in a condensed form. This report will display the profit or loss earned by you over different months of the year.
register size wise report shows the sale of different sizes of apparel items. This report can help to understand which size is the most or least in demand. The Purchase Register Summary Report displays the purchase bills in a condensed manner. Click on Purchase Register Detail to see the purchase vouchers in an elaborated way with item name, lot number, discount details etc. Double-click on the bill number to zoom down to that voucher. You can make changes to the voucher and save it. Purchase Register Size Wise Report shows the purchase of different sizes of apparel items along with supplier name, bill number and bill date. Margin report is used to check the amount and percentage of margin at which we have purchased the items from our suppliers. As you can see, rate, net amount, purchase amount and MRP amount of each item has been shown here. Let us see how can we check stock in Logic ERP. The Stock Query tab has many reports. Category-wise stock report displays the current stock of each category of apparel items. Similarly, this report shows style-wise stock under each category, along with its value. Double-click on the style name to zoom down to its ledger. Stock Query Size Wise Report exhibits the current stock of each item plus style along with different sizes.
also file GST returns from Logic ERP. Select the GSTR that you want to generate. Enter the date and click on Generate. Returns can either be submitted automatically or manually by preparing JSON. Simply select the GSTR that you want to create and click on Generate. Reconciliation of GSTR2 can be done in Logic ERP. Choose the format of the file and browse it from your system. GSTR2A data can also be fetched online. Similarly, GSTR-3B can also be submitted automatically or manually by preparing JSON. Apart from these, other GSTR forms are also available. Thank you for watching this video. For more software-related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.